If one's life were to be captured in a single thought, Aris T. Allen's may well be this. No job is too tough. No challenge too great to confront. In order to create a better world. Born in December of 1910 in San Antonio, Texas, Aris T. Allen spent his early years in the public schools there. When he died in 1991, he left a legacy of service as a physician, a legislator, and a Board of Education member, championing the causes of all children. As a teenager, Allen moved to Washington, D.C. after working his way across the country taking on jobs. He attended and graduated from Dunbar High School. He then matriculated to Howard University for undergraduate study and to its medical school for professional study. In 1944, he completed a course of study in medicine in the United States Army Specialized Training Program, which laid the groundwork for his service as an Air Force flight surgeon in the 1950s. Allen earned his medical degree from the Howard University Medical School in 1944, where he met a young physician named Faye Watson. Watson will become his wife in 1947. Dr. Allen fulfilled his residency requirements at Freedman's Hospital in Washington, D.C. He and his new wife moved to Annapolis. The Allens settled into a home on Carroll Street, very close to State Circle. With just $75, Dr. Allen purchased medical equipment and opened his practice in the attic of his home at Carroll Street. Annapolis had just two other African-American doctors at the time. Faye joined him in the practice, and it wasn't long before the Allens were raising two sons, Ares Jr. and Lonnie. After establishing his reputation as a trusted medical professional, Dr. Allen soon turned his attention to the education of African-American children in Annapolis. As he lived and learned from the people that he cared for, he began to have deep concerns about equity and parity between blacks and whites. Dr. Allen was never one to stand on the sidelines. So as his concerns mounted, he became eager to join the Board of Education of Anne Arundel County as a school board member. In 1955, Dr. Allen was the first African-American member of the Anne Arundel County School Board. He served on the board until 1961. Dr. Allen's interest in civic matters continued to grow, and he championed many causes during his lifetime. He worked very hard to make sure that African-American children and their families were also using the county's public library system, and his influence led to the hiring of the county's first African-American librarian. During the 1960s, Dr. Allen and other African-American gentlemen formed the Ada Ada Lambda Annapolis chapter of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity which today remains a vibrant organization that mentors and supports young men. Given his medical, educational, and civic experience, Dr. Allen's friends urged him to run for elective office. He chose the House of Delegates and broke new ground again by becoming the first African-American member of the Anne Arundel County delegation in 1966. He served in the House until 1974 and was unanimously chosen to lead the Maryland Republican Party in 1977. He served intermittently in the General Assembly in 1982 when his talents and expertise were called upon as medical advisor to President Ronald Reagan. He returned to his House of Delicate Seat shortly before his death in 1991. Dr. Al's public service was honored with a roadway dedicated in his name. Aris T. Allen Boulevard connects Annapolis Forest Drive to Route 50. A memorial stands near the start of that roadway. Its inscription aptly sums up the legacy of Aris T. Allen. In part, it reads, To help people in need. To provide opportunity for every citizen. And to set an example that brings out the very best in us. Thank you, Dr. Allen. 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 Thank you, Dr. Allen.